Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? How's it going? Well, whoa, I just dropped my chair a little bit. Well, I got some cool castings, guys. Um, first off, curbs. I ain't got your package opened yet. Still got it here. I cut it, but I haven't took it out yet. We'll get to that, buddy. Don't worry. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. We'll get to it, buddy. Anyway, um, we got the AB88 118 scale Army looking GTR sold out. The other one's still about halfway, um, but we'll see what happens on those. But I got some more cool cars for the sticker drawings. But um, also, um, I told you about there's some new people. There's five or six. I say a lot, but it's five or six new people um, playing. And I need to cover a few things, guys. Um, I got some cool castings going up right now. I got to... Let me get to it. Let me... Okay, a lot of these guys were having trouble getting stickers on some of the stuff. And they... The new guys. And they were emailing me. And first off, several of you wanted one of the NO64s. The blue ones. I got one. It's going in the sticker drawing. But some of the new guys wanted me to put more than 30 stickers and so on and so on. So I explained to them why I don't do that. And I want to kind of cover that again, guys, for any of you new guys that are watching. Um, I realize that sometimes they go quick, but I only put usually 50 stickers is a maximum. And that's usually on my customs. And uh, sometimes something rare or something. But normally I try to be around 25, 30, 35, 40. And um, even when I know there's a lot of you guys, but it's it's because I don't want to make it harder for you guys to win. So I, I would just, I mean, all I can say is try to get your stickers faster or something. But I mean, it's better for you. I understand the frustration of you go there and it's sold out. But I mean, you, it, you got a better chance of winning when I've only got 30, 35 stickers. Like this NO64. It's going to have 35 stickers, guys. Um, that's a $60 car. I, and I couldn't, I couldn't get it cheaper. And this is the runner-up. Real sweet looking Ford. Ranger with a trailer and all. This is a really nice one. And uh, that'll be the runner-up. But um, I, a guy named Brownie, I don't know who it is, but he watches my videos obviously i may know him a different name but he emailed me it's called brown he told me about unhinged die cast so i i ordered some cars they sent me some cool stickers but um it was about the same buddy um it really was now i think a lot of guys misunderstood the only car i paid 75 for was the yellow and white one couldn't find it cheaper anywhere, and, and Unhinged did not have it. Now, you may see that car, but it ain't an NO64 resin. You can find that car in several different models, all the way down to 20 bucks, but it's not an NO64 resin with that detail. And this one at Unhinged was 48 something with $11 shipping, so it's 59 again. I paid 59.81 for this, and I just ordered from the same place. But I did get some other cool cars from uh, Unhinged Diecast. And those are going in the sticker drawings as well. I'll show those in a second, but let me finish. That's why I don't char, I don't put more stickers, guys. Um, I know you're new. That's why I'm going over it. But all the guys out here that watch, you'll see in the comment sections in this community that participate, um, they're the ones that have directed me on what they like the best. And... And I agree. I don't. I don't like to have. I know you'll go to some state, some channels, and they do drawings, and they just take as many as they can get. I, I, I don't really want to do that because I. I want you to have a better chance of knowing. Okay, there's 30 stickers like this. There's 35 stickers on there. I got a pretty good chance of winning that. If I, you know what I mean, as compared to, I'm gonna sell 150 stickers on this baby. I just, sure, it gives you a better chance to get a sticker. But it makes it harder for you to win. So that's why I do that. Um, so uh, 
and the stickers are already up now. I just put them up a minute ago because I don't, some of you guys jump right on there when I'm talking and you've emailed me before and, hey, I can't find them. Well, I hadn't put them up yet. So now I put them up before I talk about it. But this one is on um, sticker, let's see, I believe it's drawing number nine, the Red Rat Fink Gasser. And uh, so that's why I do that, guys. And, and I don't like to go past that. And I, like I said, I've asked everybody and everybody likes those numbers. And pretty much 50 stickers is on a custom. If I do a custom or something super rare or something might have 50 stickers. But um, other than that, no. So, and let me show you something else because a lot of you guys have been having problems with that apparently. But here, this is all you do to get to my website is hewittsdiecast.com. HewittsDieCast.com. Comes up. Okay, now, these are already gone. But normally you could, okay, you could touch that. And it would take you straight to that sticker. But those are gone too. I, I'll, I'll change those out. I haven't done that yet. But anyway, the way you find it is you go to sticker, because I've had several people email me. Find stickers. There's stickers. Okay, now when you're scrolling, if it doesn't say add to cart, it's because there is nothing there. So there's not, okay, there's still something on that one. What's up with that? Maybe sticker number nine ain't up yet. Okay, well, it hasn't, it's not, it didn't put it up yet, but it will be up probably tomorrow. It was a new sticker. This, this is number seven, but if you look, damn it, dang it, stickers. Okay, so. I just updated this one too. The bone shaker is another one, um, but it's not showing add to cart, so it must not have counted the restock yet. But anyway, you would touch that, and now it takes you to this page. And this is where you can get however many stickers you want, but if you want to know what it is, you touch it, and boom, it comes up. That's what that is. Awesome little rocket bunny I'll show you right now. That's first place, and then it'll go over, it'll show you, you know, there's some more pictures of it. And then the runner-up will be right there, little NSX. You can tap on it, and it'll expand. That's a sweet little NSX, too. And same deal, you can go back to this one, and you can tap on it. Oh, it's already expanded. And, uh, but that's how you get to it, and you can see what it is. Some guys were saying, I can't see nothing but the sticker. Well, that's you were back on this page. That's all you were on. So touch the sticker and it'll take you to whatever that is. And you can touch it and see what's there. For instance, there's that one. Touch it. You can zoom it. Get a real close look up at it or look at it, etc. And, uh, now, why sticker number nine isn't up there is, I, I have a pretty good idea why. Um, it might take about 30 minutes. Um, I added, I didn't have any, I had to add an, the sticker on there into position number nine. So it's a new, not category, but it's a new product. So it's going to go through and then it'll come, it'll come up probably within an hour. It'll be on there. Um. So that's what you do to do that, guys. Sorry, I have to go over this, but the new guys kind of didn't really know. And so that's how you do that. Now, here is that Rocket Bunny, and she is a beauty. Nissan Silvia S14, or Nissan S14, I'm sorry. And um, it is nice. This one's mine. This one is the NSX. It's mine. We're going to open them and look at them. And the other ones that will be one are right here. I will not be opening. You get them unopened. And I got that. 
resin liberty walk over here again so we can take another look at it this thing is so beautiful guys i hope i don't get sucked down that rabbit hole but that's the baby that's up on sticker number nine um again i like to be very careful popping that apart like i said hold it in your hands like that and squeeze that apart so it never hits anything but look at that beauty man I am so impressed with that thing. But that's the one I got on sticker number nine because a lot of people asked for it. And um, and this was one of them they were talking about I should get. And they were, I mean, I one guy suggested 100 stickers. I, I cannot do that guy. But he trusts me. You're going to appreciate it not being that many stickers. It's going to give you a much better chance to win. And, um, um, oh, it is just so beautiful. My red one hasn't shown up. Um, like I said, I didn't realize I was ordering it from overseas, but, um, cause I could have got it closer. I just didn't pay attention, but it was the cheapest. I got that red one for like $37. But anyway, this is what is, uh, is in drawing number nine. Red Rat Pink Gasser sticker. And this is the runner up. And it is a beauty guys. But now. These Rocket Bunnies. They're in drawing seven. The Bone Shaker. It's up. It's not showing add to cart. But that's because it hasn't updated yet. Once it updates it'll show add to cart. Oh man. You know, I said that the guy cut the tape on. I may have been wrong. I may have been wrong on that. See this tape? I told you guys when I got mine that it was taped up and he must have opened it to see if it was a chase. I may be wrong on that. Maybe that's the way they come, guys. I hope I don't want to say that about the guy and be wrong. So because I've never got those before. But this one, there's no reason to tape it up. There would be no reason to open it. You could see what it is. And it has tape on it as well. So they may come that way. Nobody may have nobody may have opened that up. I I may have been wrong about that. I guess I shouldn't say that if I don't know. Because yeah, this one has tape on it as well. And there's no reason you would have needed to open that. You can clearly see what it is. But it is a beauty too. I tell you, I've seen one of these, and it's the hardest one to get now. Jake from Strictly Diecast had it over a year ago, and as soon as I saw it on his channel, I jumped on there and started looking for it. They were gone everywhere. Now, if you find it, it's it's expensive if you can find one. I mean, $85, $90, $100. Bucks. But yeah, look at that beauty. And there's only 30 stickers on this one. This is first place. The NSX is runner-up. Um, I got a pretty good deal on the NSX, so I was able to add it to it. And uh, I don't, you know, 30 stickers is fine. It doesn't have to be um, like the other one. But it is a beauty. I mean, it's nicely detailed. Right side drive. It's got shifter in it seat belts all in the seat you know like decals I mean this baby is a beauty and I've seen some rocket bunnies I like but I don't get all of them only certain ones mirrors nice little mirrors on it it's a pretty sweet little car but this one's mine and uh, so we opened it and this NSX, she's a beauty too. Um, and yeah, it's taped up too. So they probably just come that way, guys. I Nobody probably opened that. That's probably just how they came.
But yeah, I really like the looks of this NSX um, on that site. Tell you what, a lot of times keep from messing up your deal when you when you're opening it. Stick a knife right in there and you can pop it right out and not rip it. Then I'll push it through. So I don't mess up my box. Oh yeah, that is a beauty. Oh my gosh, look how low that is. Gosh, that baby is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the front fins right there. Holy cow. I knew it looked good on there, but it looks way better in person. Oh, man. Oh, those are. Those are lensed, lensed taillights. Exhaust under there. Holy cow. That, and, oh man, lens fog lights or lights down there. See them? If you can see them. I don't know if you can see them. Right in there. Oh my gosh, that baby is so beautiful. Look how low it is. You couldn't get a piece of paper under there. You could barely get a piece of paper under there. That is cool. And the wheels. And Shell. I love the Shell logo. I like all gasoline logos. I don't know why. Well, older ones like that. Texaco, Golf, Shell. Man, that baby is sweet. I probably should have got some more of those. Look at that. Dang. So that's runner-up, guys. And yes, um, you know, you buy multiple stickers. Some of you guys buy multiple stickers. Um, you can win first and second place. It's uh, if I give away a third place, I don't always, but if I ever do, that's what usually has to go to somebody else. First and second, you can win both of them. I mean, it's only fair. So there you go, guys. And that rock, man, that one, these are just some nice castings. And thanks, Brownie. Not sure who you are. You're probably in the comments there, but thanks for the tip. Um, they were about the same price, except that NSX was an excellent deal. That was a real good deal. I um, uh, can't remember exactly how much the Rocket Bunny was. I, I want to say 38 but I can't remember. But I, I do remember this was on sale for 17 bucks. You know, plus shipping. And the shipping was kind of high. But, um... So I kind of... I should have got more of those. I'm trying to see if I can see on here. I can't. Because unfortunately, they didn't send any paperwork. Well, he sent the paperwork, but it doesn't have the price on there. Yeah, it was 11.45 shipping. So, if, and, and that, that was a, so you could get this cheaper there. 48, as long as you buy more stuff. Then, because it was 48 something at Unhinged Diecast. So, Fernsey, you were asking about it. I paid 59.81 for this shipped. Um, you could get, they have it for 48 something at unhinged diecast but it's like 11 something shipping but if you get more cars 
um, it'll be, you know, you can get more for that shipping. So, anyway, that's, that's, that's the deal there, guys. So, um, oh, that NSX is beautiful, wasn't it, guys? Anyway, that's runner-up. That's first place. That's so weird, man. Looking at them, this is awesome, too, and all. But, man, I kind of like that NSX. Shoot, it should be the showstopper. Anyway, um, those will stay packaged. This stays packaged. And uh, all of these will stay packaged. And um, so, like I said, uh, I keep getting... What's going on here? I keep getting all these... Um, okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's what we got. So anyway, guys, uh, that's what we have there. Ah, oh, man, my fingers itch. I have to, oh, I was going to tell you. Um, I do electrical on a lot of these things, and it ha if you're running heat lamps, it has to be high temp wire, and that high temp wire is fiberglass, and I... I got, you know, I got to pull out hundreds of feet of this stuff, and I don't always wear gloves, and oh man, it gets in between my fingers, and oh, it drives me crazy, and by the time I remember, it's always too late, but even when you put gloves on, it's so hard to do anything, because you got to number tag it, it's just a pain in the butt, but, um, but anyway, I'm doing a Texas Roadhouse for Puerto Rico, so meat butcher, you got a Texas Roadhouse going in out there? Because I'm doing it now. Got the big old massive overshell. It's got heat lamps. Six, seven heat lamps in it. It's where, if you go in the restaurant, it's that long thing will be hanging from the ceiling. Got all the food on it and there's food underneath it and all. Doing that, doing the counters, all of that. It says it's for Puerto Rico. So, anyway, just thought I'd let you know. But yeah, I got that insulation all in my dang fingers, guys. God, it's driving me bananas. And, uh, ah. anyway, so that's what we got, guys. I uh, just wanted to let y'all know that. And we'll get to the uh, other sticker drawings or the. Uh, yeah, the other sticker drawings here pretty soon. Um, that one still needs, you know, like I said, about 15 on it. But um, I got, uh, hopefully I explained it. Hopefully the guys, the new guys, you guys watch the videos. And like I said, just I, I would just suggest try to get to the stickers sooner because a lot of them, like usually this kind of stuff will sell out real quick. Um, I would think that these would too, but I don't know. Um, so I, I would just suggest that you kind of get there as quick as you can because I, don't, I, I, won't, I won't put more stickers like that. Um, I've already discussed it with the majority of the group and they like how it is now and they agree that adding more stickers just makes it harder to win and that's not what we're trying to do. So, I mean, hopefully you understand what I'm saying now. I wasn't... I wasn't responding to your email being mean. I was just telling you that we don't do it like that because of that reason right there. And trust me, you'll appreciate it. You know, you get you'll 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 feel a lot better knowing you got a lot better chance of winning if there's only 30, like I said, there's only 30 stickers in this one. And uh, these are two awesome castings. I wouldn't mind winning either one of them. And uh, there's only 35 in this one. And this is a beautiful casting too. And the runner-up is a nice one, too. That's a sweet little truck. Ford Ranger, awesome trailer. Everything looks perfect on it. It's got the Ford emblem on it, which, you know, you're a Ford guy. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what Curbs. Good old Kirby. Y'all know who Curbs is? Y'all should know who Curbs is. Curbs is an 
Curbs Diecast Garage. He's a pretty cool cat. He, he's out there in California, old surfer dude. I don't know, he's probably up there. I don't know how old he is. He might be younger than me. He might be older than me. Uh, I don't know, but I know he said he grew up in uh, Buena Park. Well, in the 70s when I was growing up, Curbs Garage. I believe that's what it is. Curbs Garage. Yeah, old Curbs! There he is. Old Curb. Whoa, let me get this where you can see it. There's old Curbs. Look at that surfer cat. Look at that dude. Got a long hair up there. Curbs Garage. Cool, br cool breeze and some tasty waves. That's all I need, man. But, uh, he's, um, anyway. If you ain't checked out Curbs, check him out, man. He's pretty cool. He, uh, he's, he's got so many castings that's old that I guarantee you you've never seen. And, uh, but anyway, he, he grew up out there. He said in Buena Park. Well, in the 70s when I was growing up, if you lived in Buena Park, you must have been rich. But anyway, we used to go to Buena Park just to go to Knott's Berry Farm. Other than that, I had an uncle that lived in Buena Park. And, uh, but he worked for the city, Buena Park. And um, I, he was like chief inspector or some kind of crap like that. But other than that, I didn't go to Buena Park any other time. Uh, but anyway, he's out there. He's a pretty cool cat. You should check him out. Um, hey, Bud. Wait, is that offensive because of the Bud Light debacle? Sorry. <laughs> no. No. No, it's all good. Hey, bro. Dig the channel. And since we both grew up in SoCal and are about the same age... I totally get it. Anyhow, here's those gassers plus some extras. I had no return fire or shout out necessary. Just help a fellow American out. Peace. Boom. What's happening? Tea's coming soon. <laughs> Curbs Garage. Well, I guess I should have read the note first. Anyway, gave you a shout out anyway. Like I said, old, old Curbs. You got to check him out. He's a pretty cool cat. This cool breeze and some tasty waves, dude. Look at that, just Coley. You gotta love Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I mean, that and Joe Dirt. Those are probably a couple of my favorite movies. Every time Fast Times at Ridgemont High comes on, I just gotta watch it. It just, just cracks me up. That was a cool movie when it came out. Oh, man. My dad's a TV repairman. He's got this awesome set of tools. He can fix it. <laughs> This one, I remember this one, it seemed like. Mustang 2017, so 2018. I think that's when I just started getting back, you know, collecting these cars. That's pretty sweet. Eight crate, good old eight crate. I remember that one. I remember now, he said he asked me about some gassers, if I needed some gassers. Oh, yeah, see, old Dodge Dart. I remember, man, when that came out, I was running everywhere trying to find that car. I mean, just couldn't get it. And then I finally found like six or seven of them. I grabbed them all. And uh, actually it was, uh, where was it? Seemed like I got some cases that had them in it because I was buying cases for a while and I ended up with a bunch of cases. Here we go. Mangled card, but it doesn't matter because I use it for a gasser. And I didn't have more green ones. And these green ones with the green glass are perfect for the Try Me gasser. And, uh, dang, now these two, these are cool and all. They're clear, but these are some nice ones that people would like to have, I'm sure. Because they don't have it. They don't have the Isky gasser. But these are cool, too, because uh, they got clear windshields. But yeah, these are these are older ones, 2013 and all, and a lot of people don't have that isky gasser, and heck, they be wanting it. I'll probably keep those in the package just in case. Never know, buddy. And the old Dodge van. Yep, I remember the old Dodge van. I tell you all, I'm sure I told you before. I worked at Center Chemical when I was in my teens. 
chemical company and uh they had a dodge van they we installed they sold chemicals cleaned pools installed hot tubs spas all that but it had a standard a four speed on the floor old dodge van i used to give that thing hell of course you know as a teenager what did you think was going to happen but i had never seen a dodge van like that with a four speed on the floor and it was down low it wasn't you know a big old truck shifter it was down low it was crazy i've never seen one before that's the only one i've ever seen maybe it was a thing but i never seen another one they were always automatic but yeah it was an orange center chemical van perfect looking van to run around town saying hey you seen my puppy I got some lollipops in the back. Yeah, I probably shouldn't joke about that. But there's some weirdos out there. But that's why you got to teach your kids. We were taught about that when I was growing up. Nowadays, oh, shh, don't say that to your kid. Don't tell your kid that. You'll scare them. Scare them? That's the idea. I want them to know. My kid, my grandkids know, boy. I'll tell you what, I got, I got some great little granddaughters. I mean, they're, they're pretty awesome. I got a shirt that says, you know... I'll bury your ass. But one of them, my oldest one, she's super sweet. But all of a sudden, she's getting kind of scary. I mean, she wants to do MMA. She has a knife in her boot. She, I mean, she's kind of, I don't have to watch out for her. I don't know. But I'm glad she's ready to take care of herself. But, yeah. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> but, yeah, she's all about. You would never think it either. You've seen her. You'd be like, that sweet little girl. Yeah, that sweet little girl. Uh-huh. Let's see here. That's her. Good old Aunt Aaliyah Sophia. Aunt Aaliyah. That's a pretty name, ain't it? Aunt Aaliyah Sophia. I call her... Ana Lia, Sofia, Maria, Conchita, Gonzalez, Herrera, Guerrero, Hernandez, Lopez, Hewitt. I don't know, I, I call her that. It reminds me of who, you remember that actress, Maria, Conchita, whatever. I can't remember all of her name, but I think she's dead now, died of alcoholism or something. But that's what it always reminds me of when I say that. But uh, anyway, a nice girl, but yeah, she wants to do MMA. She's ready to get down. And that's good, because she, you know, she needs to know what to, you need to teach kids what to do when, when people bully him i mean even my grandson he don't mess around he's on the bus he's fourth grade sitting there on a bench with his with his girl friend not girlfriend girl friend on the bus and fifth graders told him he had to move and he's like i ain't going nowhere you fifth graders need to calm down and that's how you talk too but he's a big old boy he's a big old boy and he will get violent in a second it's almost it's, it's almost you know we're, we're hoping it, it stays under control because he will rip your head off so they they need to leave him alone but yeah it's funny when he'll explain to you well you, you fifth graders need to just go on i'm not moving i thought it was hilarious you know heck yeah buddy that's bromeo that's what i call bromeo but uh yeah hopefully he keeps that under control because you need to know how to you know Open up a can of whoop ass to be truthful. But you don't want to go around being a bully. You know? You don't want to be starting trouble. You don't want to be asking for trouble. But you don't want to be that kid that's pushed in the corner all the time and don't know what to do about it. You, I don't know how I got on this subject, but it's true. You need to tell your kids that. You don't want all this nonsense. You need to know how to pop somebody right in the nose. If they won't stop popping right in the nose, mm, promise you, they'll stop. Anyway, okay, guys, I better let you go. And uh, thanks again, Brownie, for the heads up on Unhinged Diecast. And look at that little cool little sticker they sent me. They had some other uh, shell castings that went with that, but I didn't really care. I like that NSX. I didn't really care a whole lot about the other one. And uh, so anyway, you guys looking for certain stuff, check out Unhinged NSX. And Brownie, if you're somebody else on my deal commenting on another name, let me know who you are because I don't recognize the email. I uh, actually got it last Friday. I was at Jack Stack Barbecue eating dinner. And I got this email. I was like, who is that? And I looked at it. I was like, hmm. He says to check this 
unhinged die cast out. So I did. And uh, so I appreciate that. So anyway, guys, let me let you go. I done stretched out another long 30-minute video. Hope you guys figured it out. Hope I helped you guys out, you new guys. Like I said, just get over there quickly if you can to get your stickers if you're interested. And, um, uh, and, and you'll appreciate the fact that there's not a lot of them. And I hope I showed you how to get there. Just, just go to it, look for stickers, touch the sticker. It'll take you to the page. And then you'll see more pictures down there where you can actually touch that and see what it is. And what's second place, you know. And then you could double touch it and you could zoom it in and take a look. Oh, I like that. You know, there you go. There it is. All right, let me let you guys go. Again, Curbs, sorry it took me so long. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, Curbs is super cool, so I know he understands if, you know, these cards aren't in the best shape. But um, some of you guys out there I know might be missing this car, so I'll hold on to it just in case. And um, Curbs is super cool enough that he'll be like, well, heck yeah, dude. If some you just pass that on, brother. And uh so we'll see what happens. But if not, yeah, I'm definitely using it for customs because I already got it, thanks to some of you guys that sent it to me. I don't remember if it was Grandpa Larry or Kelly. Can't remember who sent it to me, but somebody sent it to me a while back. And I immediately did a wheel swap and put it in my gasa collection. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Now I sound like Mike Dyson, don't I? Another cool cat. Recently told me he's over six foot tall. I was like, whoa, had no idea you was a tall one too. Anyway, guys, I'm going on and on. Let me let you go. Hope I helped everybody out. Peace. Outro.